Gravesend Australia Diecast Salvage, where we get to play with Matchbox Cars, Dinky Toys, Foggy Toys, Majorette, and quite a number of other different brands that are out there. Adult supervision required at all times. You just never know what's going to pop up on your screen. Content on this channel is aimed at the adult community as it contains strippers. So hot, you'll take the paint of vehicles. <laughs> Nudity. Naked vehicles. And a man playing with his tools. What else is he going to do? We've got strippers and we've got nude cars. Just play with something. Here are some of our previous attempts to give these vehicles a new lease of life. And I think I did a not a bad job if I do say so myself. But there's always room for improvement. So come along to see what's in today's episode at Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. Hello and welcome to another episode of of Graves in Australia Diecast Salvage. So, for starters, we'd like to thank the viewers of the channel, subscribers of the channel, and those that haven't subscribed. They're watching. Thank you very much. Because everything counts, as they say these days. So it's very much appreciated. Those that comment on the videos, again, very much appreciated. And I do take any criticisms on board. Anyway, well, our victim today is a Dinky Toys Rolls Royce Silver Wraith. This was bought at a, at a collector fair where there was only one trader in Diecast Toys. And he was rather expensive because he wanted $50 for this. And I said to him, no way, I'm paying $50 for that. Because, yeah, so if I, could, I, could, I said, I can get it cheaper from the UK, sent to Australia for under $50. So, I walked away, and as I was getting to the exit, he tapped me on the shoulder and asked, oh, how much are you going to pay? I said, no more than $20, including the other vehicles that I that I had already picked out. So instead of paying you know, the three other vehicles, he wanted 200 bucks. I said no. So I paid a total of 80 Australian dollars for four vehicles, and this one was included in that. So it worked, it worked out roughly about 20 Australian dollars or, or 10 pound sterling UK money. Anyway, let's get over to the bench and we'll have a better look at it. And I'll stop rambling, I hope. See you over there. All right, so here's the base of the Silver Wraith. Very worn, but um, otherwise, yeah, it's all, it's not too bad. Tyres are in in fairly good condition. I'm not seeing any cracks in them. They haven't. The body itself isn't too bad. It does have a broken A pillar, but we might fix that before we strip the car. We may fix it afterwards. I'm not 100% sure. I think it was this one. it was on another vehicle so the um, body on this one isn't too bad as you can see it ha does have a lot of paint chips on it but like I said in the intro for that I would not pay 50 Australian dollars or 25 pound yeah so plus it's got whoops when we look at the front as you can see the front bumpers are there but they are bent so we have to be very careful in 
straightening out those front bumpers and we need to do something with the, the headlight of course it's missing the the, uh, the lady on the top of course but we might be able we may do something with it or we may just you know, sort of do something not in there the glazing is foggy so we'll have to do a bit of cleaning on it so the next thing we'll do is we shall take it apart it has three posts two at the back one at the front and we'll come back when she's apart see you there Okay, so that without having to make a lot of noise for you guys and gals is that I've used the, sorry about the camera move, is I've used the burr tool on the end of the pretend Dremel and all I do is find the middle and I go out towards the end and then I just let the tool stay in the middle to make a small indent to what you see there and that should make it easier should I decide to drill down and which I haven't done yet and tap I haven't, I haven't tried that yet like the others it will happen one day but for the moment that's enough I am starting to use uh, what rivets like uh, Martin D does so we'll, um, we'll hit that way but it but what the aim of what I do here by going around the edge as you can see I've gone a little bit further but because the base will be painted you're not going to see that it makes it easier to because the head's been taken off that you can lift the casting off the base and then you can put it back on All right. but if you, if you leave enough on there we'll just we'll just put the bumper back in where it should be because it held there a few moments ago so that you should be able to just press See, when you're, when, when you're not filming, everything works. When you film, of course, things don't work as they should. So, that you just need to glue, and away you go. Anyway, so, time to take this turkey apart to see what we have. And as we just saw, there's the base. And like I said, the tyres are quite good, so what we may do is just take the rubber tyres off. We will put them into some hot water just to make them a little bit more pliable so that we can put the base into the stripper in the caustic soda. So now comes the well, we've already seen the, the front, uh, well, not front, ah, gee, this world is upside down. We're taking the rear bumper off, it is all there, it needs to be cleaned and re-chromed. Let's see what our front bumper is going to do. We might have to look a little bit harder, and we need to also do the same thing you need to take the head off the post that's holding the glass in so I'll bring you back aren't you lucky that you come get to come back I'll bring you back when I've taken the burr out of that and I've worked out how to take the front bumper off so see you in a second so we're back again all right, 
So, here's the rear bumper up the back. Where is it? There it is. Okay, the grill is out and in the back there is a pin that goes, that holds the grill in. So I'll just get my pointing device. So as you can see there's a hole there. That is where this pin goes in which holds that grill in place. So what I'll do is, so I don't lose it, is just carefully put that pin back into the grill so that I know where it is. Now with the glass, that crack that you see going up the center, that was already in there, that's from manufacturer. As you can see, it is got a whole lot of dirt in it. And all I've done with the burr tool is, is just slowly let it work down the center until it, it just touches the plastic so that we should be able to pop it out just like that. So again, as you can see the, the crack that in there has been there for a long time, it happens to all the vehicles when they punch the when they mushroom that centre post over the pressure. Anyway, so as you can see, that needs a fair bit of cleanup. So that will be there, and that leaves us then with the casting. Now, I did notice that the roof, just hold it there, just needs to be knocked out a little bit, just there. So, but that should be an easy fix, we hope. So, the next part is either stripping, straighten up the video a little bit, the camera, will either be the stripping of the casting or washing the glass. But then again, we might skip that. You don't want to see the washing of the glass. So, we'll probably do the stripping next, and I will. Um, Clean up, clean up the base. I will stick it into a product called, I'll just move the camera up, some calcium lime scale and rust, it's a remover. This is the product that we have here in Australia. And we'll let that, we'll let, we'll let the base soak in that for a little while. So, when you see the, this vehicle next, will most likely be at the Stripper Emporium. So, hope to see you there, and you can join in maybe with some audience participation. Well, I like this, your audience. So, how exciting is that? See you in a moment. As I thought what would happen when I was straightening out the front bumper, that it was going to break. And of course it did. So what we're doing here is we're doing a repair. And what I've done is put the uh, put some tape onto the casting itself as a backing. And I've used just set, set you back down onto the onto the well onto onto the table and I'll uh, put that back up there for you and I'm using this tech grip which is a multi-purpose urethane adhesive as opposed to using um, caustic soda and and super glue so this just takes a little bit longer to dry it's just an epo it's like an epoxy but you don't have to mix it up and uh, we'll let that dry and we'll come back 
when that is uh, ready so we can uh, have a look at it. Catch you then. Okay, so while you've been away, some work has been done in the background in that we have repaired the bumpers on the for the grill. We have repaired those. Just put it in place so you can see that um, she sits nicely in the place. So she's all ni nice and straight. down there like that. We have cleaned and polished the screen. It has yellowed a little bit. Um, nothing much I can do about that. So we'll, we may try bleaching it later. We have taken now, oh, we must not forget must not forget this pin. We need to put that back into into where that came into the back of the grill where it came from so we don't lose it. We still need to clean up our tyres and our base. We're about to put that give it a bath I should say. Got our container there. We have that there. And we're putting it into a product called Calcium Lime Skull and Rust Remover. And it says contains no phosphates. Septic safe. Isn't that good? So um, it says CLR, which is calcium lime rust, is perfect for metals, copper, aluminium, solar chrome, titanium, stainless steel, bricks, appliances. Isn't that good? Septic tanks. It says do not use on. Let's have a good read. Wood, silver, brass, cast iron, sandstone, rendered surfaces, clothing, factory, mould, marble, terracotta, painted surfaces, and coloured concrete paving. It doesn't say anything about die cast. So we should be right for it. So we've got to get past the safety part of it. And now we'll just cover the casting there. We'll let that sit for a little while. And we put that down to the side. And we know what's coming next. Do we know what's coming next? I don't know what's coming next. So let's find out in a second. you knew what was coming next. Of course we're in the stripper venue. Our strippers down here are ready. Our casting is ready. Well, let's see if you're all ready. I know I am. No. Yes, we have paint flaking off all over the place, which is nice to see. Still got reaction going. So let's top it up. Girls, our, our, our strippers like swimming. So that we shall let them do. We'll let them swim. A little bit hard to see in that cloudy water. I hope they're holding their breath well. Anyway, that's a 
as much as what I can show you. We have still reactions coming up, happening down the back here, which is good. So we'll come back and we'll have some nudity. So if you don't want to see nudity, close your eyes. So, like I said, if you don't like nudity, close your eyes and wait till our next segment when we'll be in primer. But what we've used this time to get our vehicle into this state is that we used a brass a brass wheel on a drill so that was the first time that I've used use a brass wheel on a drill for a die cast vehicle for the larger ones for the 143 scale or bigger I think they'll work quite well um, and I still used the brass bristle brush for some tighter areas that I couldn't get into and I've used my steel wool scourer as well. Still comes up, polishes rather nicely. But the what he doesn't show up is the scratches that the that the brass wheel made on there. But that may be helpful. Most likely will be helpful to hold the primer on as opposed to being yeah, you know, sort of smooth smooth and the primer's got nothing to hold on to. But we shall see as to how we go. The other thing that I did well, before I used the made it shiny shiny is that I extended some of the lines down here because the the original casting at the rear door stopped roughly about where the end of my tool is here. Hang on, I'll just get something a bit better to to point with maybe. Let's see. That's better. Yeah, where, where the end of the brush is there, that's where that where this line stopped so I've been able to extend it like I said it stopped about there so I've extended right to the end there we removed the casting line that was at the door up the top here we've removed the casting lines that were here on the front on both sides and also on the front fenders that were about here and I've, again we've removed the casting line that was at the front door here to see if I can get it in the right right light for you like I said ju just here there was the uh, a, a casting line there and we've extended this casting lot not casting light this fender line at the back door because this one stopped just about there where my pointer is but we've been we've extended it to come into this fender here and we've also we fixed up the the roof line and and the trim around it. So, for those who have had their eyes shut for such a long time, don't open them just yet because we've, we've still got naked vehicle in front of us. So, next time when you hear my voice, for those who've got your eyes closed, the vehicle will be in primer and that's when you can open them. So, we shall see you in a tick.
here is what we ended up with with our Dinky Toys Rolls Royce Silver Wraith. As you can see, I didn't turn it back into its original two-tone grey. I've left it as a white into a wedding car. Now we don't have the ribbon on the front in this shot because I'm still waiting on um, some ribbon to, to arrive. But we have, I like it the way it is actually. It wasn't the, the way I was gonna go, but I'll leave it as it is. So we've cleaned up the glass. We've repaired the front bumpers that were bent on both sides. And of course we've painted it white. We've done some detailing on the door handles. We've detailed the backlights and indicators. We've still got to put some number plates on it. We've got to register the car yet. So, hope everybody enjoyed this little video of the Denki Rolls-Royce Silver Ray. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Thank you for watching. That's the main thing. If your watch is even better still. Anyway, bye for now. We'll catch you on the next time. From Grace in Australia, Guide Car Salvage. So we've done another update for our Dinky Toys Rolls Royce Silver Wraith to match up with the last photo that we just showed you. So it now is white. It sports gold rear and front bumpers, and gold grille as she comes around. And our centre hubs are gold as well. We haven't put any number plates on this thing yet because we're still waiting for the Department of Main Roads or New, New Service New South Wales to allow us to register the vehicle. So they're still going to do an inspection on it. I'm fairly sure she's going to pass. So, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you enjoyed the video, comment down below what you thought, and we'll catch you on the next time. Braves in Australia, Diecast Salvage. See you later. Bye for now.